Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new NASCAR 21 Ignition video. Now my voice sounds a little deeper because I just woke up a little bit ago and I went on Twitter and saw that the new Dev Diary dropped for the tracks for NASCAR 21. So I came over to my computer and I watched the Dev Diary and I was blown away. So without me talking like a bunch of random mumbo jumbo and whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys Dev Diary number two and then we're going to break it down and talk about it. Enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to part two of our three-part series on creating NASCAR 21 Ignition. Last time we looked at the cars in the game, but what use would they be without some digital asphalt to drive on? Complete with the official tracks from the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series schedule, each one was built from the ground up so players get the most up-to-date and realistic experience when behind the wheel. Let's take a quick look at two tracks that joined the NASCAR calendar in 2021, Nashville and Circuit of the Americas. We brought in a professional track scanning company to get the most data possible. This scan information is the basis of our process of building the track for the game. It can show us every scratch and scuff in the asphalt, every rivet in the barriers, even the texture of the paint on the wall. This information fuels the first step of the process, building the physics mesh so the cars react to every bump on the track. From there, the production is a little more traditional, creating the surfaces and walls, then the infield and outfield, then dressing everything with props and a crowd to make it all feel real. From the garage to victory lane, NASCAR 21 Ignition brings your favorite tracks to life with every inch being recreated in incredible detail. While the scanning data can show us so much, we needed to see how the tracks actually look so we could represent them in-game as accurately as possible. Our art team went out to the track and took thousands of reference photos so they had the best idea of where certain elements of the track were, such as billboards, sponsor decals, and even the placement of buildings. And when at Coda, our artists were working while the NASCAR Cup Series drivers were doing their test sessions. It takes months to get real-life track data converted into a completed track you see in a video game, and not every circuit is the same. Some may take longer than others to produce. Coda, for example, took longer to complete than Nashville due to its size and complexity to get every detail right. While everything so far sounds pretty complicated and difficult to do, not saying it isn't, but it's not the most challenging thing we came up against in the process of creating these tracks. NASCAR tracks and events feature sponsors and branding all over the place, and these change as the season goes on. So sometimes we don't have much time to get the placements and logos changed, so that's quite the challenge for our art team to come up against, but they've done some stellar work. That's our look at how we built the tracks for NASCAR 21 Ignition. Which track are you most looking forward to race on? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to stick around for our final chapter of our Dev Diary series, where we'll be looking at the people who make NASCAR 21 Ignition what it is. See you next time. Alright everyone, what did you think of Dev Diary number two? I think that was a great diary that really dived in to what makes these tracks as realistic as possible, not only visually, but also when it comes to physics, driving these cars around the track. I really had no idea all these tracks were laser scanned and whatnot. I mean, that is serious work to make these tracks super realistic. So let's go ahead and break down the Dev Diary and see if we can find anything to talk about more that uh, from what we just saw. Now, right off the bat in the in the uh, dev diary here we're seeing bristol motor speedway and we're seeing the uh the, the fans around the track now bristol usually sells out every single year so to see the sellout crowd at the bristol night race is pretty cool now is this shot a presentation like a pre-race shot showing the crowd before it shows the drivers on pit road for the ceremonies and whatnot we're not entirely sure i mean this scene it doesn't really give us too much in-depth detail of what this scene is playing here. But once again, presentation, Motorsport Games is absolutely knocking it out of the park here and whatnot. But this is going ahead to show you the detail when it comes to the track. I've been to the infield once or twice at Bristol, and it's very, very, it's pretty much what it looks like in real life here. See, that, uh, that little building right there with the uh, Bass Pro Shop sponsorship and the Bush Beans, those are just restrooms and a um, and a vendor to sell food to fans and whatnot. The tracker off-road little uh, tent over there is in the right place. Uh, the garage entrance, the size of the garage is where the haulers are. Because Bristol is a very small infield from what I've seen personally. And 
from what I'm seeing, every single detail even comes with the safety trucks, the fire truck, uh, the little tables at the end over there. They've got every detail pretty much down when it comes to the infield. They didn't miss a spot when it comes to making sure this track is as realistic as it possibly can, even though you're not driving um, like, you know, where those things are in the infield. They want to make sure the authenticity is perfect. Now, here's another cool shot when it comes to Bristol Motor Speedway and whatnot. We just talked about uh, the final shot where it showed all the fans on the track in the background. This is also another version of their laser scanning that shows Colossus on the top, which is uh, Bristol's famous wide screen in four different directions for fans to watch the race and not miss anything going on. But you also see the laser scanning not only for Colossus, but just for the sky, for the pit boxes, the crew members walking around, the tires, the ground, even the, even the grandstands in the background when it comes to this shot. The attention to detail is very, very important here. Because when you laser scan every single detail of a track and pit road, you're going to get a very fine detailed uh, version of that track and whatnot. And that's something we have not had in any of the NASCAR heat games, let alone, I don't even know if we have that in the Technics games, when it comes to fine-tune laser scanning for every single part of every single track and whatnot. Uh, so just wanted to th uh, pinpoint that detail that all of this right here is laser scanning and it's not even the track this is all laser scanning here so let's keep going and look for the next thing to talk about so during this part of the dev diary rusty walrus was explaining how motorsport games pay a lot more detail into nashville and cota these two tracks are brand new to the nascar cup series circuit and obviously require the most work because they don't really have any past data of how these tracks work uh, Rusty goes on to explain as well that Coda was the track that took the longest time to develop for this game because of all the fine details that go into every single corner, how the car feels, and because obviously the length of the track as well because it takes up a lot of space, that kind of track and everything. But going ahead, we're seeing little tidbits of Coda. We haven't seen any gameplay of a cup car at COTA, but we're seeing little tidbits of what it's going to look like and whatnot. It looks very, very beautiful. And uh, we're just, let's just keep going on here, look at some of these shots and whatnot. More of the laser scanning, obviously. I mean, th this is really, really cool. I mean, let let's go back and look at that one more time here. And you're going to notice right here, this is just like very, very early uh, beta footage. Like, you know, them obviously working on the game. But we're seeing right here, look at the attention to detail going all the way to the back where the Ferris wheel is and whatnot. And they're getting every detail, guys. I mean, they're going, they're going way down there here's the front stretch uh grandstand here where the cars will come up the hill where i think we're on turn one right now up on the hill but there's the ferris wheel back there and then here's a little bit more of a pixelated version before like the final version of the track i assume you're starting to see the color come in when it comes to the haulers and and the grandstands the fans the pit road and whatnot oh i'm so excited to drive this track i love road courses so this is really really good and a little bit more of a finer screenshot there seeing all the detail that goes into what makes a track very very beautiful whether you're driving the car or whether you're off the whether you're off the track and everything and here's another laser scan uh shot of the car and the tower the famous tower at cota and uh right here rusty was talking about how um oh okay okay so this is something too here's a little sneak peek of bristol dirt we can imagine this is bristol dirt because it is the only track that has any sort of surface with some dirt on it so that is really really cool stuff right there and you can got you guys notice the detail into the dirt it's not just dirt thrown onto the track or anything it's not smoothed out it's actually uh, like uh, pushing up a little bit off the surface and everything certain parts of the dirt are different and whatnot um, I really want to see some Bristol dirt gameplay and I want to see some COTA gameplay because those are probably the two tracks that everyone is really excited to see and how they work and whatnot. Now this was really cool uh, for Rusty to mention. So while the NASCAR Cup Series was racing at COTA that weekend, Motorsport Games team was out there working even when the cars were on the track, taking as many photos as possible to get as much reference they can to make sure these tracks are as super realistic as possible. And obviously, I would assume they were also there watching the cup cars racing around uh, racing around COTA as well. So that way they can kind of understand what these cars are supposed to be doing. So Motorsport Games, once again, showing that they care about the future of NASCAR games. This is the first game of a brand new series. And they're making sure they have the foundation down for future games that are going to absolutely blow us away. And, and one thing, too, Rusty mentioned here as well. It's the little things that they have to add. Like, stuff like this, okay? 
if you really pay attention and maybe there's a photo mode we can see if you really want to find this in the game in one of the corners you can probably find it because they're going to add it they're taking reference photos here to make sure this track is as realistic as possible and we're seeing a little bit of uh, some gameplay here of cota and whatnot let's go back and look at that one more time so right here the driver's turning right and whatnot and then you saw the wheel change direction right there to the left back again to keep that car straight now we're turning to the right to keep it straight uh to get through the corner again these cars are going to handle good these cars are going to handle good it's not just a, 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 a swift move of the analog stick and keeping it there you really have to fight the car at these road courses like the cup drivers do every single time they go to a road course so this is really really good stuff here's another good thing too and i was wondering if motorsport games did something like this so it is confirmed that motorsport games did in fact have some onboard cameras on some cars to get some really good footage of stuff now what is this being a test of? Is this just a cup car at Daytona or is this the next gen car? Um, and again, I'm just saying this to maybe stir the pot a little bit and whatnot. I do not know 100% what car this is right here. Is this a next gen car? Is this just a cup car going around Daytona to get uh, sound or maybe just, you know, uh, uh, data on how the car is supposed to handle? We don't know. But we did already know before that Motorsport Games did announce that a next-gen car update will be in 2022 for NASCAR 21 Ignition. Is this a little bit of a sneak peek as, as to what they are trying to do with this next-gen car to make sure it is as accurate as possible? Regardless, pretty cool to see this attention to detail come from Motorsport Games. We saw a good bit of the cars driving by here, and we're going to kind of pause right here and just see what paint scheme and what driver this. So we got William Byron in the Zalta car. We're going to pause right here. There's Austin Dillon in the Bass Pro Shops machine. Kyle Busch in his M&M's Toyota. One more time, there's Anthony Alfredo in his Speedy Cash car. I believe that's Josh Balicki down there in the 52. Kurt Busch in the one. Camping World, Track House, Daniel Suarez. Now, there's the 15 car. Uh, I don't know if that's, you know, Cody Ware or Garrett Smithley. Uh, uh, we don't really know yet. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. in the Bass Pro Shops machine. There's Bubba Wallace and Ross Chastain in the 53 car. I think that's actually Garrett Smithley. And then uh, right here, Ricky Stenhouse, Ryan Newman, Chase Briscoe. Just seeing some of these drivers. Ryan Blaney, Corey LaJoy, uh, Chris Buescher, Kevin Harvick. Uh, we got Eric Jones in the Arm uh, the uh, Armor All 43. Uh, Alex Bowman. There's BJ McLeod in the Motorsport Games machine. And the 33 of Austin Sindrick. And the 34 of Michael McDowell. Ooh, we got some more Coda right there. Hold on. Let's look at this one more time here. This is really cool. Let's look at the camera angle here. So we're seeing here with the uh, with the cockpit camera and whatnot, the driver's head turning a little bit. I know my camera's showing me turn the other way, but and whatnot. But I'm turning this way, and I'm turning because that's just what a driver does. That's what their vision is making them do: is turning with the turn, turning with the track and whatnot. So there's some more uh, COTA gameplay and whatnot. Of course, we're chasing down Chase Elliott, who arguably has been the best road course racer out there on the Cup Series in the last few years. Oh, look at, oh, okay, okay, once again, I told you guys how these cars are going to handle a lot different than NASCAR heat, okay? Look at the control that this, that the, uh, the, tr the player has to hold on to. Look how much control that this person who is playing the game has to have in order to make sure they don't spin out at COTA. One more time here. Watch the wheel here. He's turning, he's turning, he's bringing it back, he's bringing it back, turning one more time, hits that rumble strip, loses a little bit of that control, has to fight the wheel to keep that car straight, like in real life. That is some really cool stuff here. Now we got some Bristol gameplay. Looks pretty early, but let's see the Bristol gameplay here. Loving that night transition here. I love how the light is reflecting and whatnot. That is really nice. Now, once again, I, I, it has been confirmed the AI is still being worked on a little bit. So let's not jump to conclusion on things or whatnot. This is probably some very early footage and whatnot. These diaries were probably recorded a while back and everything. But if we look at the, uh, the lighting here when it comes to Bristol night, uh, this is still going into night because we can see in the top left corner, it's still sort of dusk, it's still sunset and whatnot, uh, but we're still seeing um, the lighting of the game is very, very nice. I mean, the light is shining on the cars like in real life. I've been to a Bristol night race. This is dead on accurate. This is very, very good detail and whatnot. I'm just really excited. I want to. I, I, I got to play a Bristol night race 100% and whatnot. Th this is really, really good stuff, guys. Well, there you guys go. Dev Diary number two, the tracks, and our breakdown of the Dev Diary as well. The more I see this stuff, the more I'm excited to get my hands on NASCAR 21 Edition, which drops October 28th. 
Speaking about the tracks though, what is the track you are most excited for to drive in NASCAR 21 Edition? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Sloppy Joe. Stay sloppy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Adios! Hey Sloppy Nation, hope you all liked that video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content so you don't miss out on any of the spicy videos. Catch you all next time, and have a great rest of your day.